What is going on everybody, it's Nothing But Skills, and in today's video, we are going to be showing you the AR DPS build you guys want to put together. Now, a lot of people have been asking me after they seen my LMG build, they saw my rifle build, they're like, hey, do you have an AR version? So I'm going to show you how to maximize the potential of this build. Now, one thing I want you guys to note, the weapon you use is up to you. I recommend running either the FAMAS or the Custom P416 or even the Police M4. Both of those weapons do really well. You just saw the DPS for the um, Custom P416 and now you're seeing it for the FAMAS. Both DPS were about the same, right? The one thing I do like about the Custom P416 is that the recoil on it is really easy to control. Something like you would see with the Police M4. But I haven't got a really good um, rolled Police M4. When I do get one that's God roll like this one that you guys are gonna see in a second, then I will switch back over. But this build does a lot of damage to those elite and named enemies. And this is on Heroic, so you guys are seeing Heroic gameplay. And I just wanted to show you that. But let's dive into the build. So for the build, we are running a uh, custom P416 at 92, almost 93,000 damage, 750 RPM, and the max size is 50. A little bit low on the slow side for the RPM, but this one does really good work. It has 13% assault rifle damage rolled on here. It was maxed out at 11% health damage and 10% headshot damage. Now, I do have strained on here, gain 10% critical hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing. This does stack up five times. So potentially, you can get up to 50% critical hit damage. Now, you can run this for Moss. For Moss probably has one of the most DPS in the game because of the rate of fire. This one has a little bit less damage, and it has 13% um, assault rifle damage. It has 9% health damage, and then this one did have critical hit damage. They both have strain. So it just really depends on what you want to run. For my secondary, I'm a big fan of LMGs, so I do have the Invergy MG5 on here with... Um, fast hand so critical hits at a stack of four percent reload speed bonus max stack is 40 so that is the same mg5 i've been running with my build the way i have the custom p416 set up is i do have crit chance on the scope on the underburl and on the muzzle and then i'm running the 20 round magazine on this one if we get into the build for the mask i am running a fenris mask now this is going to give me 10 percent assault rifle damage because one piece fenris we have 12 percent weapon damage rolls on here 10 percent crit damage i did roll six percent crit hit chance and then we have a mod on there for 10.5 percent critical hit damage so a lot of crit chance crit damage i am running glass cannon all damage you deal is amplified by 25 percent all damage you take is amplified by 50 percent now if you have perfect glass cannon you can do that too that's an additional five percent damage you're taking you're putting out but you take in 10 percent more damage just i would recommend you testing that out if you guys are really struggling with running glass cannon Take a look at Obliterate. Critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for 5 seconds. Stacks up to 15 times. So you can have an additional 15% weapon damage. Or you can even run something like Sparked, which gives you 15% damage, as long as you put out like your Striker Drone and it initiates Spark. But the chess piece talent, I personally and a lot of DPS players all run Glass Cannon or Perfect Glass Cannon. So that is, it's just, you got to get used to playing it. But when you do, it's amazing. For the holster, we're running the Cheska holster. This gives us 10% crit chance. It has 10.5% weapon damage, 12% critical hit damage I rolled on there, and it has 8.1% headshot damage. I do like having a little bit of headshot on my builds. For the knee pads, the knee pads we're running the Overlord name knee pads. These right here are probably the best in slot knee pads you can put because of the 15% damage the target's out of cover. Even though you're not taking advantage of that rifle damage that comes with the Overlord, it has weapon damage, we roll crit chance, and the damage to targets out of cover is crazy. So that's why I recommend, you test this out. Run these knee pads, then put on some knee pads that maybe give you some more crit damage, and you're gonna see that you still hit harder with this 15% damage to targets out of cover, which is most NPCs when they're rushing you, right? So that's why this is probably one of the best in slot, best in slot for your any class, for any DPS class. But with the knee pads, there are some gloves that you really wanna put on this build. So we are running these LMG gloves, these Petrov gloves, name gloves. And the reason why we're doing this one is because this one gives you 11% damage to armor. The only gloves that are gonna do that. So we have weapon damage on there, we have critical hit chance, and we have the 11% damage to armor. These aren't even God rolled. I've seen people with some really, really nice ones and I can't wait to get some. I would recommend putting these on too and then testing it with the AR build. Even though I'm losing two slots right there, this still makes me hit harder than if I was to stack some more crit chance or crit damage. But yeah, I recommend picking these up. They're very, very nice and I would farm them in the pet shop area. 
For the backpack, we have our second piece of Providence. This is going to give us 10% critical hit chance. We have weapon damage on here, critical hit damage, explosive resistance. I would like to get rid of that. Put some critical hit chance on there, and then I put a mod for critical hit damage. Now, if you feel like Vigilance isn't working out for you, Unstoppable Force is going to be your next best bet. Unstoppable Force, killing an enemy, increases total weapon damage by 5%. Now this can stack up to five times, so that means you get 25%, the same thing you're getting from Vigilance. So just really depends on your playstyle. But what I would recommend doing is playing with both and seeing how often you have Vigilance and how often you don't have Vigilance. Then play with Unstoppable Force and see how often you're cranking out that 25% extra damage, which you should be with this build. That's why both are pretty good to use. So I will let you decide that one. For the skills, solo players or in a group, I always try to run Reviver Hive, that way my team doesn't have to worry about picking me up. And then I always run the Fixer Drone. Fixer Drone seems to work really good in PvE. You get a lot of healing from that build. If we go look at the stats, I'm running 60% crit chance, 88% crit damage. We have 81% headshot damage, 11% armor damage, and 11% health damage. Plus, we have that 15% damage the target's out of cover because of the knee pads. All of this makes you hit really hard. And that's why you saw at the very beginning when I was running either this or I was running... The FAMAS, they both hit about, what, 18 million DPS per second. It was about even. And I'm sure if I did the Police M4, it would probably be about even. They balanced the ARs pretty decent with giving them enough damage based on the rate of fire. But running the same exact build, they both hit over 18 million DPS. And I'll let you guys decide what weapon you like using better but don't sleep on the custom p416 because of the rate of fire now one thing you should remember is my build is not a hundred percent optimized like it's not even the best of the best yet and that means it can only be improved i could see this probably pushing out 20 million dps just with this build on one one npc target but this is more gameplay of heroic so you can see how it's melting through those purples with armor those reds with health damage and then even you guys saw that big tank with gold and i'll put a clip of it in just a second once we clear this but if you're looking it's pretty simple like like the damage is there it honestly isn't the best damage build in the game i really think i really think right now lmg still edge it out just a little bit but i want to say man this build hits and if you get an enemy that's trying to push you and you hit those shots you will drop. But the one thing you need to remember about ARs is that the magazine size is smaller, right? So you have about a 50 round mag versus the LMGs, which have about 100 to 150. So you can make mistakes with your shots. With ARs, if you tend to miss those shots and you don't land them, you're not gonna melt the enemy, right? Versus the LMG, you can miss some shots, still recuperate, and you can still drop them. And that's the big difference between the two when you're running an LMG and when you're running an AR. But they both hit really hard. If you can land those shots, they will drop the enemies, as you guys are seeing in this heroic gameplay. Now, these are just a few clips from this heroic um, mission. I was doing this mission on heroic, and I was running around with this AR, and I wanted to get you guys some live gameplay with me using this build, so that way you guys can see it besides just seeing the numbers at the range. And I hope this kind of shows you what you guys can do with other builds. You don't have to run LMGs. LMGs aren't the only one. They are the most sustained DPS because they have those large mags and if you mess up with your shot, it's easy to recuperate. Like you can just keep firing, keep firing with the ARs. If you miss, then you need to reload. So let me know what you guys think about this build. Um, are you guys an AR fan, SMG fan, LMG fan, rifle, sniper? What do you guys think so far? Now that I've gotten most of the DPS builds out right now, I've gotten an AR out, I got the rifle build out, I got the LMG build out. I want to start working with the gear sets that I finally got. So I finally got some really good gear sets and I'm going to start playing with them more and more now. Now that I have time to mess with other builds as I'm starting to finally fill up my library, starting to get better rolls, and then hopefully with the new gear, I can get lucky enough to get some of the exotics so that way I can pair some of these up with the exotics so you can see the potential of using an exotic with a really good build. So hopefully we can get that done. Um, there is one build that I have in mind that I run with my friend, the tank build, but it's just I'm waiting for the chess piece, right? Because we built his up, he has the chess piece, and then mine is kind of like sitting in the back burner. But we're going to get it done, guys. We're going to get that build done, and I'm going to have it out for you. Don't forget, if you are new, to leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe and turn notification bell so when I do release a video, you guys get notified. I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing me on the channel. I love you guys, and until the next one, nothing but skills is out.